Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Anything in particulars? I'm guessing he's a bug catcher. Meaning, he's dead to me. As I was saying, dead to me. No, actually, I'm not. You're dead to me. Seriously. You are an idiot, my friend. And raise your Pokemon. Now, these two don't seem to be interested in looking at anybody but each other, so... Let's ram them for a while, and then we'll interrupt. Oh, apparently I'm not supposed to be listening in on your conversation. Apparently you own words now. Who do you think you are, Mr. Junior Trainer? He's a... Oh, Mr. Junior Trainer. I don't know what you're thinking, other than you want to get bit. Because I got a war total, son. Make sure Squirtle flinch. Yeah, that sounded better in my head. Oh no, don't hit me with bubble. Gasp. Oh no, my speed fell. That actually could be a problem. Well, let's hit him with water gun. See if that does any damage. Not really. Oh well. Hee <laughs> hee. Dropping water on a squirtle. Seems kind of like a waste of time, doesn't it? Seems like it to me. Hooray for war turtle. Nope, you sure can, buddy. Whisper, whisper, you say. Well, how about your chicky poo? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're looking to have a conversation with someone else and not me, and you have the gall to get mad at me, you freak handed woman? Oh, I see. Ratata. Pusha. Now, here's an example of why I put Dig on my war total. He can dig into the ground. Pikachu tries Thundershock, but oh, you can't hit me when I'm underground. Then he uses Quick Attack, which is even worse. And electrics are weak to ground attacks. Dies in one hit. That's the beauty of Dig on War Total. It gives him an extra option. Well, you know what? You're gonna lose. Them and they're whispering. Thinking I won't find out. I'll find out what you were talking about if it kills me. Um, very good. I'm so good, you won't even know how good I am until you're done. You're a bug catcher. Oh, I remember this guy, but yeah, he has a Butterfree. We've seen one of these, of course, because I've got one in my party, but you've not seen an enemy Butterfree, so I'll just stick around. Stick around, you'll be bit real good, and you'll flinch. What a sucker. You know, the Butterfree from, Butterfree from this side looks better. Oh, bull. Butterfree from this side looks better than uh, from behind, but... It still, it kind of looks kind of like it's like retarded, sort of, for some reason. Don't ask me why. Great experience for that. Holy jeez. I am too good, thank you. Eh, little from column A, mostly from column B. Who's next on this trip and cavalcade? You'll play, will you? We would like to play? She had three Pidgeys, but the reason I'm coming back early is I've now been hit with four straight sand attacks, and somehow War Total finally makes contact. But after that much sand in his face, you, th you know, honestly think he was in the Middle East or something. God. No, it didn't, but you sure tried hard in the last one. You worked it. Um. I'm awesome? No, actually, I was just trying to walk into town when you so rudely interrupted me, you fool. Alright, what, what has you got, Mr. Junior Trainer? You've got two things. A Spiro, and I believe the other one is... Eradicate. Yes, Eradicate. And as I said before, anything under level 20 for Eradicate, that, that's a fallacy. You can't do that. That just doesn't happen. And another good reason to use Dig gets you away from Hyper Fang, but it didn't kill him anyway, which is surprising. Well, if he's going to kill me, he's going to kill me. And I'm going to kill him with Bubble, the least manly attack in the game that I can think of. Yay for War Total. You didn't start it, did you? No, but I finished it. Shablam. Me too, but i got to go catch more if I'm going to do that. Alright. Love the music here. Hmm. Be a good way to get yourself lots of Pokemans. You knew I was going to say that once in the talk through, so there you go. Exquisite sunsets. Cool. Oh, look, it's Machop. Not good for him. 
There's the Pokemart. What do we want in the Pokemart? Something. But what is it? Let's see what we got here. We got Pokeballs, Super Potions. Very nice. Ice Heal, Awakenings, Paralyze, Heals, and Repels. Um, I'm going to buy two poor Pokeballs. Why, you may ask? Well, I'm going to be going a little bit of a catching spree. You know, that sounds an awful lot how I train. I guess that makes me a bad person. Oh, well. What can you do when you're playing Pokemon? Kirku? What's this say? Oh, no. Saffron sounds like it's in trouble. Saffron, if you call us, the road's closed. Hey, there's a town map. Shows us where we are. Oh, for a million. But we can't rip that off the wall and take it with us. So if you ever want to use that type of map regularly, we better go talk to Stinko's sister. Hey, there's the gym. And we can't get to it, of course. So, let's go here. Uh, nope. Trade it for a far-fetched. Uh, maybe if I find one. Hey, I got a Spiro. Great. Just got this to the uh, east of town. Nice, easy place to find one. Oh, you little tiny bird. I do have a Spiro. I guess I want to trade it for a far-fetched. So here you go. We'll give you a sleeping, nearly dead Spiro. And now we're doing a trade. Well, Spiro, we hardly knew ye. For like all of ten seconds. So I guess that qualifies as hardly knowing. Fly, Spiro. Fly through the, the link-up cable. Now, for you people who have never used that old Game Boy or a Game Boy uh, Pocket, they used to connect through those cables like so. Yes, I know. I know they have it for the Game Boy Advance as well, but it just seems so much more rustic and quaint when done with a Game Boy or Game Boy Pocket. Or a Game Boy Color, I guess, could also use the same cables, I believe. Oh, we got a Farfetch'd with his little onion leak in his mouth. That's adorable. Hooray! We got another Pokemon. And now, Farfetch can be taught how to use Cut, so whenever I get Cut, that's who's going to learn it. What's this? Oh my. Let's get in there and see what's up. It's a seal. It squeals when you hug it. You sure it's not crying in pain because you're squeezing it too hard? Except for one thing, Pikachu suck. Well, in, in, in my opinion, LOL, ROTF, barbecue sauce. Okay. Yep. Are you? Um, sure. Rapidash, yeah. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. It, stunning, kindly. When the moon glistens off it, when it's sweating. And, yep, that leads to sleeping, warm and cuddly. Really. It, it's it's a horse Pokemon with a flaming mane. Are you insane? Don't cuddle up with that. Oh, I gotta make room. Yeah, that speech sucked just as bad the second time through. Hey, we got a bike voucher. So now we can get a bike back in uh, Cerulean. That's awesome. Must be good to have a, a, a Firo. I wish I would have caught something that could have... Oh, wait, I just traded it. Oh, I'm a sad panda now. Such a sad panda. The sadness of my panda knows no bounds. I already talked to you. Yeah, we did. You and your multiplying grimers. Nope. I wasn't looking, though. There go. Don't care. Hooray, heal everybody up, because they need it. What do you guys got to say? True. I don't know. Pidgey's pretty awesome. Oh no, if only you could have put it in a Pokeball. So I went and sold some stuff at the store, and then I went onto Laddie's PC and deposited some items that I don't need right now, but may need later. Or ones that I can't sell. What do you got to say? That's true. Oh, 
Those poor wild Pokemon. They'll never know the joys of being overpowered. That's a disappointment. Hey, you, what do you got to say? Yeah? Yeah, I love to fish. Sweet, we got an old rod. Which, judging by who we got it from, may or may not be a penis. Back to Cerulean briefly to turn in my bike voucher. We got a bike voucher. Hooray! Well, let's go test out our badass new ride, shall we? And let's just quickly... What the hell's going on? There we go. So, we'll put the bicycle at the top of our list. And we'll ride bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. 